guys, Ziri11 here, and today we have another pickups video. It's been a while since we've done a pickups video, but um, got some stuff to show. Um, not too many cards, only got like 20 cards here, not even, I think it's like 19 cards. So pretty small pickups video. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot more breaks and actually buying singles. Um, but then again, I've uh, picked up some stuff along the way. Um, so if you're wondering where I got this stuff, Let's see, I got some stuff from car shops, got some stuff from eBay, Instagram trades, uh, group breaks, um, pretty much anywhere you can think of is where I get cards. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, first off, we um, have some stuff I got from a group break here. Um, I guess I went into a Synergy one, um, kind of regret my decision, but we have this Aaron Ekblad, um, Synergy Red. Um, Synergy is not really the best product, but... Um, I think that was like the night of or the night after. Um, I decided to pick Florida for whatever reason, and I got an Ekblad Red, and I got an Ekblad Blue. Um, yeah, Synergy is a little overpriced for what it is. That, but then again, uh, I've actually sold off pretty much every single card I got from that box, and um, I came a lot closer to breaking even than I thought. So here's a note where the newcomers of Ian McCaution. Yeah, it was actually more value than I thought um, in the Synergy, but then again, I still could not recommend that stuff. All right, so next up, I was in a, was this, another group break, I think a Series 2 for whatever reason, and uh, I had Florida again. Um, I might be starting a PC this guy, just to keep me sane, you know, have a couple lower end PCs while I'm going for the bigger stuff, just to keep me a little entertained. Here's an Owen Tippett. Upper Deck Portraits of Rookies from Series 2. Um, yeah, Upper Deck Portraits. I might collect this guy, but then again, might not. I mean, he's a prolific goal scorer in the OHL. Um, he could be a good NHLer, but then again, his ceiling uh, for the hobby still probably won't be that high because he's playing in Florida, but we'll see. Owen Tibbet, Marquee Rookie Retro. So, and then again, he has young guns here. I got two of them, two young guns. Now, usually... Uh, your regular common young guns are like 12 cents. Um, this one's like 10 bucks. So um, people, other people have high hopes in this guy. So we'll see. He was 10th overall in 2017. So we'll see. And uh, one last card of him. We have this um, Parkhurst Black Parallel. So I definitely like Parkhurst. Um, haven't really got more <laughs> any more of the Parkhurst um, from 1718. Because, well, the first week it was 20 bucks, like, oh, cool. And then went up to 30 bucks, it was like, uh, okay, then. I mean, odds for auto, they're twice as hard. I don't know why it's still the same price, but it's whatever. I mean, they can just eliminate autos from every product they have. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just accept it. Next up, we have a, or, or at least make it a lot harder, but yeah, we have a Dylan Strom rookie parade to 9.99 now. There we go. I love these rookie parade. That's why I keep on getting the 16, 17s. Um, now I believe I got this via trade. Um, yeah, Dylan Storm's not a bust. Anytime somebody says that Storm's a bust, you're wrong. This guy's gonna be a solid NHLer, I think. He's not gonna be a superstar, but he's gonna be a solid NHLer. So yeah, Dylan Storm rookie parade to 9.99. I'm still looking for these. Um, probably not worth my time going for the set. Um, but yeah, next up is a card I thought looked cool, so I bought it. <laughs> is this Jonathan Quick? 1617 series one uh, clear cut acetate base card um so yeah clear cut acetate boxes um 167 series one hobby are like 200 bucks so um i don't know if that's gonna drive up the price of any of the other stuff like hobby exclusive stuff like this but i don't know we'll see or maybe that already has been but um next up we have some sp game used i was in a group break for sp game used and uh, i had a couple teams at chicago anaheim another team that i didn't get anything in but um, first up, we have this, I think it's a gold jersey. It's just uh, pretty much a base jersey card. Nice red swatch on it. I think it's a gold parallel, maybe, of Jonathan Taze. So that's pretty cool. SB game used. Um, next up is a card I actually really like. I want to get more of these. It's a 17-18 um, SB game used. This is a Frameworks. It's also in 16-17. So Ryan Getzlaff. These are really cool. They're actually game used piece of memorabilia um, behind that, which is really cool. Um, reminds me of when you go see oh a player's house, you know, they'll have their jerseys hanging up in frames That's what this reminds me of and um, it's really cool. I wouldn't mind getting some uh, Some different players of this 
So yeah, there we go. And the final SP game use card is this, um, it's a true rookie, which is pretty cool. It's a Yan Ruta, um, SP game use, authentic rookies, true rookie, number to 44. So Yan Ruta, I believe he's like a bottom pairing, maybe, uh, third, four, three, four guy sometimes for Chicago, but, um, they re-signed him. So I guess he has some value, um, to them. He's an older rookie though. He came from the Czech Republic and, uh, yeah, Yan Ruta, true rookie. So Everything I have here is probably going to be moved, and um, I do want to trade, but here's the thing. I don't know what I want, so <laughs> probably not going to be trading because I don't know what I want. Um, next up is um, an auto of a player that I really like. This is from 2017 Maple Leaf Centennial. Uh, Maple Leaf Marks of Gary Roberts. Now, this is a pretty nice card. Um, nice hard-signed auto of Gary Roberts. He played on Leafs from 2000-2001 to 03 04 yeah, very nice card. Gary Roberts, one of my favorite players back in that era. So, yeah, there we go. Gary Roberts. Um, next up, you can see the top there. Um, we have a uh, Austin Matthews Marquee Rookie Rainbow. So, got this via trade. Um, it's only, it's a pretty cheap card. It's like less than 10 bucks, I would say, Canadian. Um, it's a nice little small addition to my supposed austin matthews collection which i haven't really been adding to which is unfortunate because i just want bigger cards but you know get a couple smaller cards here and there doesn't hurt then again i might just get rid of this card then again every card you see is probably gonna be gone because i don't know what i'm collecting anymore next up we have a parkhurst black parallel these are actually really nice i like these it's a black parallel black variation of austin matthews so it's a rookie on um, black parallel so these are typically what are they one per blaster for the black parallels and I believe there is, what, 600 cards in a set? So you have like a 1 in 600 per blaster to get the player you want, pretty much. Because rookies, this, this fall in just like your um, base cards. So there you go. Austin Matthews Black. That's pretty sweet. This one has some good value. Then again, I might just get rid of it. That's pretty much what I do <laughs> with all these cards. It's Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, next up, we got some Fleer Showcase um, cards coming up. We have this first one. We have this William Nylander Hot Prospects Auto Patch to 85. And it's uh, 85 of 85, so it's the last one uh, printed. It's pretty cool. Um, logo Patch, which is cool. After some investigative research, um, I don't know what that is. Could be an S. Could be a P. Um, I don't know. It looks like an S, actually, when I flip it like that. Maybe that's an F, and then that's an S. It's hard to tell. But then again, it's a cool logo patch. Definitely like this card. Um, definitely move it, though, <laughs> if I get the right price. And, uh, yeah. Next up is another auto patch. Um, I had this card. Um, I had one of these last year. Um, and it was in rough shape. It had... Um, the problem with the signature and it had corner issues this one's in better shape then again these cards are always in pretty rough shape this one's a pretty solid shape for what it is um it's connor mcdavid this is from 1516 fleer showcases hot prospects auto patch the 299 this one is a logo patch i think i mean i think it's like that right on the Lo oilers logo could be wrong I'm not sure where it would, it would be otherwise but there we go connor mcdavid hot prospects auto patch got a good deal on this um, definitely, this one's definitely movable, like, probably the most movable out of the three, uh, cards I'm going to be showing you, that, including Nylander there. So, yeah, there we go. Connor McDavid. Can't go wrong with McDavid. Probably one of the best investments right now, if you're collecting cards. Um, next up is this card, um, don't know why I got it. I might move on from it. We'll see. It's a Austin Matthews Hot Prospects Auto Patch from 1617 Fleer Showcase. Um, thing I really, um, the thing that grabbed my attention with this card is there's only 35 of these, which is definitely interesting. This is number 2435, um, sticker autograph right there. Um, I don't know where this patch is from. Could be logo, could be anything. It could be, um, actually it could be the three of 34. I don't know. Then again, I really don't know. It could be a four, could be anything. I don't know where that's from. Could be their rookie shoot they freaking put on the back of the jerseys, which is, it's annoying and cheap. Um, there we go. Here's the back of it. Um, yeah, Austin Matthews, Hot Prospect Out Patch. Um, I definitely want to add to my Matthews collection, so it'd be kind of dumb to get rid of this, but 
Then again, I might still get rid of it. We'll see. I'm probably going to get rid of all these. Um, then again, what will I get? That's the thing. That's a big problem because if you're collecting, um, these two guys are a good starting point right now. Um, I would say Cindy Crosby's right there. I don't have a Cindy Crosby card. Maybe I'll do this, this, and this, and cash, and get a Crosby Future Watch. You know, Crosby Future Watch is dropped in price. I don't know why Matthew's stuff is dropping. Are people, like, paranoid because he's injured or something? Like, jeez. Might as well capitalize while I can. Like... But, um, yeah, I have, like, no worries about this guy at all. Like, jeez. I do have some concerns with Nylander and Marner and every other Leaf. But, um, yeah, definitely Matthews is a guy I'm going to be collecting moving forward. Because if the Leafs are going to win anything, it's going to be on this guy's back. Like, and Frederick Anderson. Those are going to be the two most important guys on the team. Because I don't see the Leafs winning anything without Austin Matthews and Frederick Anderson. And uh, most Leaf fans will agree with me. But yeah, guys, there's some pickups. Finally, I got some pickups. Um, hopefully, I can at least do one of these one per month. Then again, that means I would be buying less boxes. But uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. I'll definitely... I um, haven't really been to card shows. I know I'll try to go to the Expo in May. Um, I don't know if there's any smaller card shows. I usually miss it because I'm always busy when they're... When they're doing their things, you know. Um, but yeah, guys, there's a pickups video. Um, stay tuned. We got some more showcase coming up. Uh, who knows? Maybe that's my second Matthews RPA from showcase. You'll see. So yeah, guys. Um, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.